Pesticides are bad for your health over time and poisonous if you inhale them during use. They're bad for the environment and they kill beneficial insects such as butterflies, bees, ladybugs, and many more. Avoid at all costs using pesticides to kill aphids. Use these tips instead. Here's what aphids look like. Yeah, I hate these assholes. Because they can produce sexually and asexually, they are gonna blow up in your garden if you don't catch them early. And furthermore, they can grow wings after a few generations on a plant, which is gonna make them spread as well. So aphids are gonna be easier to control when the infestation is lighter and most of the aphids are nymphs. These are like kid aphids. You'll wanna check your plants a couple times a week so that you can catch aphids early. So you're gonna to wanna to try to prevent aphids in the first place. You can do this by planting plants that repel aphids. You can do this by planting flowers such as nasturtiums, sunflowers, and marigolds. Veggies that repel aphids are onions and garlic. Herbs that repel aphids are catmint, lavender, turmeric, ginger, and oregano. These are great for beneficial bugs as well. You're gonna to wanna to attract a lot of beneficial bugs because those eat the aphids and will help keep the aphids at bay. Planting a lot of diversity of flowers and herbs is what's gonna attract the most beneficial bugs to your garden. Ladybugs are great because they kill a ton of aphids. Birds also kill aphids, so go ahead and put a birdhouse in your yard. But be careful if you put it in an accessible place for cats. My cat is quite the predator, and so I have to put my birdhouse on a tall six-foot pole. My cat is quite good at scaling trees. I love that cute little predator. So you've already got some aphids. Now here's some safe ways to get rid of them. The first thing you can do if you don't have too large of an infestation is to spray the plant with a strong jet of water. This will hopefully help remove a lot of those aphids and you can also pick the rest of them off by hand. You can also make an organic anti-aphid spray. I came up with that word, but it makes sense. I'll put the recipes below for these different sprays. You can make a spray with dandelion leaves, onions, garlic, or nettle if you have it. I personally have no idea what this plant is, but you might have that in your yard. It might be easier to make sprays with common household ingredients. You can make sprays with vinegar or dish soap. There's also variations of sprays with the dish soap that include pepper or neem oil. These spray methods will likely have to be repeated every week until your aphids are gone. You can also use neem oil directly with cotton balls or in a spray. Neem oil is best for older aphids, and keep in mind that it can kill beneficial insects as well if they come in contact with the neem oil. Another alternative is horticultural oil, which suffocates the aphids. This is best for killing young aphids, but keep in mind it can sunburn ornamental plants. Finally, you can dust the undersides of your plant with diatomaceous, diatomaceous, diatomaceous earth. And finally, if you absolutely need to, for non-organic gardens, go ahead and spray a little bit of pesticides. But I highly suggest that you avoid it at all costs. I hope these tips help you keep your aphids at bay or get rid of those little assholes. Again, avoiding pesticides help your health and environment. So I hope you love growing these eight different veggies in your Central Florida or Zone 7 garden. I also hope these tips help you kill off those aphids. Subscribe so you can stay updated on how my garden goes and let us know what you're growing in the comments. I'll see you guys soon.